The following video demonstrates how to accurately count and report results obtained using Neogen's filter and ampule system. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to enumerate organisms, record your results, and account for any sample dilutions. A short self-check quiz follows the presentation. We encourage you to pause and review the video as needed prior to taking the quiz. After incubating the filter unit at the specified temperature for the recommended amount of time, remove the unit for counting. When testing using a non-selective medium to obtain a total plate count, all colonies that grow must be counted and reported. A total plate count is also referred to as standard plate count or total aerobic count. Non-selective media can differ in pH, which promotes the growth of different types of organisms. Use selective media when testing for a specific organism or type of organism, such as coliforms. In this case, count and report only colonies that exhibit characteristic traits specified for that medium. See the video on membrane filtration products for more information on which colonies to count for each type of selective media. After counting all colonies, results need to be properly reported. Membrane filtration results are typically reported as colony forming units, CFU, per 100 milliliter of sample tested. This is easy if 100 milliliters was originally filtered. Example, there were 16 colonies on a total count membrane after incubation, and 100 milliliters of sample was filtered. This is reported as 16 CFU per 100 milliliters. At times, you may need to dilute your samples. This may be necessary if your samples have results that are too numerous to count, TNTC, or if you need to increase the filtration efficiency of your sample. Typically, when a sample is diluted, the dilution needs to be taken into account when reporting results. This can be done through a calculation that uses your final count and a dilution factor. The following example shows how to calculate a dilution factor and then calculate your final result using the dilution factor. A sample is diluted 1 to 10. 10 milliliters of sample was added to 90 milliliters of sterile buffer and underwent membrane filtration. The requested specification amount was 100 milliliters. To find the dilution factor, divide the requested specification amount by the amount of sample actually filtered. 100 milliliters, requested specification amount, divided by 10 milliliters, amount actually filtered, gives a dilution factor of 10. To determine the reportable number of CFU per 100 milliliters, the number of counted CFU obtained from filtering should be multiplied by the dilution factor. If two CFU were recovered on the membrane from the diluted sample above, this would look like two CFU, the number of counted CFU, multiplied by dilution factor, 10 in this example, equals 20 CFU. This would be reported as 20 CFU per 100 milliliters. Example, six colonies are counted from a one to five dilution. 20 milliliters of sample into 80 milliliters of sterile buffer. What is the reportable CFU per 100 milliliters? Requested specification amount, 100 milliliters, divided by amount of sample actually filtered, 20 milliliters, equals a dilution factor of five. The number of CFU counted, six, multiplied by the dilution factor, five, equals 30 CFU. Report as 30 CFU per 100 milliliters. A note of caution when using dilutions. Testing small amounts of sample in large amounts of sterile buffer, 1 to 50, 1 to 100, etc., is possible and might even be necessary. However, increased dilution makes ensuring a representative sampling more difficult. Here's an example of how plates can vary if a sample isn't homogeneous. To address this potential issue, it's best to mix the product prior to sampling to make sure the product is well homogenized. If using high dilutions, running two to three monitors per sample gives a better representative picture 
and provides a double check of sample homogeneity. Thank you for watching. Neogen has a dedicated technical service team specific to this product line that is available to assist you if you have questions regarding counting and reporting results or accounting dilutions for membrane filtration using Neogen filters and ampules.